Hi, my name is Christine and I am the Customer Success Manager here at Avail and today I'm going to show you how to schedule a payment as a tenant online with us and also walk you through some of the cooler settings that we offer our tenants for online rent payments. So first things first, um, I am here on my dashboard and it's directing me to view my rent payments or I could otherwise navigate to my sidebar and go to the payments tab. Both are going to take me to the same spot, which is directly into my payments page. From here, I can see I have my full list of charges through the duration of my lease. Uh, my next payment that's due that I have not yet initiated payment on is my June rent. So I'm going to show you how to make a one-off payment on this charge. So it's asking me how much do I want to pay. I want to go ahead and pay the full amount of $1,500. I can see the balance here. Um, it's showing me my different payment sources. I want to go ahead and use my checking account. Um, and in two, two, three, four, I can see that that's completely free. My uh, fee of $2.50 was waived by my landlord. So it's just a total of $1,500, no processing fee. And then um, I could withdraw this as soon as April 20th, which is um, next Monday, but I want to go ahead and pull this out to withdrawal end of month. So I'm gonna say the 27th of May, and then I can see the deposit date is actually going to be June 1st, which is perfect because this is due on June 1st. So great. I'm just going to do a quick scan just to make sure everything looks right to me. I'm going to be paying $1,500 from my checking account. That's going to withdraw from my account on the 27th of May and then deposit to my landlord on June 1st. Great. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and schedule that payment. Great. So I would have just received an email with the receipt that this payment was initiated and then my landlord also would have received an email saying that I did initiate this payment today um, with the timestamp. So everything looks good there and then I am going to go ahead and um, show off some of our other features such as auto pay. So with auto pay, um, it's a really awesome feature where you can just kind of set it and forget about it. Um, it will just auto withdraw each month in the set amount. If I had roommates and I only paid half of the amount, I could always just put in half of the dollar amount here and then I can choose which bank account or if I wanted to pay with credit card, I do have that option. Um, I'm going to keep this paid in full from my checking account and then when will the money withdraw from my account? So I could have it withdraw on the same day, so the first of the month, that's when my rent is due. Um, I like to set it to three days before. Um, that way it's actually depositing closer to the first of the month. And then, yep, there's no processing fees, so everything looks good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. And wonderful. So auto pay is set. And then I could see that these tags were put on these different uh, charges here that I have full payment scheduled. So just to check in on these, I can click into details. And if I wanted to, I'm able to see um, the details of this payment. So I can see that it was scheduled um, to which all on the 26th. If I wanted to edit that, I still have the opportunity to do this. So if I want this to actually withdraw, say on the 23rd, I can make this one-off change. And I can do that across any of the payments that I have here. So it's very um, easy to customize these to your own needs as a tenant. Um, the other really awesome feature that we offer is called Credit Boost. So I'm going to turn this on. Uh, this does come with a fee. It is $3.95 per transaction. So what happens here is on a monthly basis, Avail will automatically report to the credit bureaus uh, all of your on-time payments, which will enhance or boost your credit score over time. So um, really awesome if you're looking for a bump in your credit score. Uh, this is a great opportunity for a lot of uh, our tenants. Their rent payment is the largest payment that they're making on a monthly basis. So why not get credit for it when you are making those payments on time? So I'm gonna go ahead and click Enable Credit Boost. <clears throat> Great. So I can see both of those settings are turned on. I'm always able to have a full view of all these charges. And again, you can access the details to actually uh, see what's going on on each of those individually. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us at support at Thanks, guys.